Over the past few months, my bookshelves have just turned into a complete disaster. I have books all over the place. They've just been thrown around my apartment for a while now. That is just the reality of being a booktuber. Books are never being put back into the right place. As you can see, my bookshelves are a total disaster. And in today's video, we are going to be tackling them. everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray. and welcome to another video I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video you guys already know what we are going to be doing it is something I have been putting off for the longest time because <laughs> it honestly gives me anxiety we are going to be tackling my bookshelves in today's video I'm going to be reorganizing them as well as giving you a bookshelf tour my shelves have been a disaster for the last few months they are just in shape I have to pull myself together and organize them because it's just it's just not okay I'm going to be organizing my bookshelves in today's video and then afterwards I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of them and showing you every book I own spring is right around the corner So I feel like it is the perfect time to tackle my bookshelves do a little spring cleaning I also may be getting rid of some of my books, but that will be like a whole different video I'll probably do like a book unhaul I've seen those a lot lately and they seem really fun and and I'm kind of tempted to get rid of some books that I'm just not I'm just not going to read or that I just don't need anymore so but yeah and we're gonna organize my bookshelves today it's going to be a pretty chill but fun video and I'm really excited because I just got a package in the mail today with a bunch of cute little shelf decor I'm gonna share that with you guys as well we're just gonna have fun with it let me know down below if you guys would be interested in me doing a unhaul video and showing you guys all the books that I plan on getting rid of because I've never done one of those before I've seen other people do them and they seem really fun so let me know down below what you guys think I'm going to stop rambling because we have so much to do in today's video I have so many books to organize clean I have to dust my bookshelves they are so dusty and just so gross we are gonna hop right into it so to start the video off I thought it'd be fun to do a little haul for you guys and show you all the fun stuff I bought specifically for my bookshelf and I'm super excited because I'm actually working with Timu which is an online store they sent me over so many cute pieces to put on my bookshelves and I'm just so excited to share them with you guys because I know you guys are gonna love them too so we are going to do a little haul to start the video off with we got so much stuff here okay i'm so excited because i feel like it's christmas we're opening a whole bunch of fun book related stuff but of course really quick if you're not familiar with timu timu is an online marketplace offering quality merchandise from the world's top suppliers and brands their products have high quality performance at a fraction of the price and they offer products in multiple categories such as fashion jewelry home decor electronics beauty pet supplies and more they also offer free shipping for new users and free returns up to 90 days you can get 30 percent off using my promo code here or using the link down below in my description but now what we've all been waiting for is the unboxing and I am so excited because I have chosen so many cute things for my bookshelf specifically I'm so excited for these so I picked up two of these little sculpture heads I've always been obsessed with stuff like this just gives me real art museum vibes they also have like holes in the top so you can actually use them as vases so I think I might put pens or highlighters in one and then I might put flowers in the other next up I have these two little vases these are so cute I'm so into little accent pieces lately and I thought these were absolutely adorable I don't know if you guys can tell but there's like little specks all over them next up I got a little pen organizer all my pens highlighters pencils they're just scattered all around my room so I wanted to get something to organize them and so I picked this one up it's just this cute off-white one and then it also spins these ones are so random, but I couldn't help myself. Look how cute this is. It gives off a real vintage vibe. This one's just like a purple heart one. Absolutely obsessed with it. We have some blue light glasses because you guys know I'm huge on my blue light glasses over here. Staring at my computer all day long is just something I can't escape. So I actually picked up some blue light glasses from Timu and they are so cute. These are exactly what I was looking for. I love like big boxy glasses like these. Next up, we have some fun pens that I decided to get. These ones looked like the best ones for annotating. I'll show you. They have a very pointy tip where 
which I feel like is just going to be so perfect for underlining in my books. I just got these things for funsies. I got a pack of headbands and a pack of scrunchies. So we have like a white silk one. We have this cutie brown floral and then we have this all natural one. I love headbands. You guys already know. I literally live in headbands. These are all the different scrunchies I got. I picked up a pair of reading slippers as well. These are absolutely adorable. They're just smiley face slippers. That is all for my little Timu haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget if you guys want to check out any of the stuff I bought or any of the other cool stuff they have online, you can use my link down below for 30% off as well as my little code right here. So now that I've unboxed everything, I think next what we're going to do is we're going to go through all my shelves and we're going to clear them off. We're going to take all the books off the shelves and I'm going to go through and wipe them down because like I said, I have not dusted my shelves in the longest time. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't think I've touched them since the last time I organized my bookshelves, which was last summer. They are long overdue for a cleaning, a dusting. So we're going to take all the books off these shelves. We're going to go through, wipe them down, clean them, and then we're going to start organizing them and putting the books back. I'm really excited. I have some very good ideas of what I want to do with my shelves and as well as where I want to put some of the decorations I just unboxed. And I'm really excited because I think they're going to look really cute and it just... I can't wait. So that's what we're doing next. Slow down, hold on tight now. It's okay to meet me at the front. So I think we're gonna start with these two bookshelves first, just because they are like my favorite bookshelves and it's mainly because they're like the backdrop for my living room. Like I had all these crazy cool ideas and now that we're here, I literally don't know what I want to do. So that's great. We are going to be here all night, ladies and gentlemen, so grab some snacks, grab some drinks. This is going to take me a very, very long time. If that first shelf right there just took me seven minutes, I'm honestly scared to see how long this is going to take us, but it's going to be worth it for shelf one. I decided to put my two favorite fantasy series so far. I'm trying to figure out if I should keep the fantasy vibes going and then maybe go in to thriller mystery vibes and then I'll save the other bookshelf over there for romance books. I don't know. I have so many ideas and this is going to take us all night. So hope you guys are ready. Okay guys, so I just finished doing the bookshelves out in the living room. I'm not even gonna tell you how long it took me to organize those bookshelves. It took me the longest time. <laughs> now I'm in the bedroom and I'm going to tackle the one itty bitty bookshelf I have, which is like right there. It's a total mess. And honestly, the majority of the books that are going on that bookshelf are actually Chris's. It's basically his bookshelf now that I have all my books out in the living room. But we are also going to be tackling my book cart because my book cart is just, it's not even a book cart anymore. It's just a junk cart basically and then these are all the books that I decided I'm going to be donating giving away stuff like that I think I'm gonna do that book on haul video like I mentioned earlier because I think it'd be really fun and yeah that is next on our to-do list I'm also sweating so that's great everybody it's a new day it's actually been a few days since the last time I talked to you it took me a very very long time to organize these bookshelves in the past when I have gone to reorganize my bookshelves I never had a specific plan or style that I wanted to organize my bookshelves with so this time around I really took my time with organizing them and you know I organized them by genre series authors stuff like that I really just wanted to make sure this time around I do it right because 
because hopefully I'll be able to keep them looking this nice for a long time. You guys saw in the previous clips, I was organizing my bookshelves in the living room and then also in my bedroom. I also did my book cart, which was a total disaster. I had so much junk on there and it just needed a good cleaning. So you guys saw me do that. And then the next day I actually went back and I changed a few minor things with my bookshelves. The way I left them the night before, I was like, mm, I'm just not, I'm just not obsessed with them. The next day I went back and I changed a few things around and now I am absolutely in love with them. I think they are perfect. They're gorgeous. You guys can see a little sneak peek over there. The bookshelves came along really nicely and all my books are organized now by series, genre, author. They're just super easy to find when I need them. Yeah, we're rocking the no lashes. Gonna look like a little potato. I am now going to be giving you guys an in-depth tour of my bookshelf, showing you every book I own, also just showing you how I organize them. The whole point of this video is not only for me to basically organize my life, but I'm hoping it also gives you maybe some ideas on how you want to organize your own bookshelves. This time around, I feel really good about the way I organize them, and I can definitely see me keeping them this way for a very, very long time. With all that being said, let's jump in to the bookshelf tour. this is gonna work honestly. If you guys have seen previous bookshelf tours of mine, you already know what's up. You know I'm all about the zooming in. A little too close for comfort, but what are you gonna do? Also, is my camera crooked? We're just gonna work with it, okay? Here we are. Bookshelf number one, gorgeous. Love her. You guys already see we have so many popular fantasy series up here. Minus this one, this isn't a fantasy series. We have a Court of Thorns and Roses series, and then we also have the Shatter Me series. These are two of my favorite, favorite series at the moment. And then I also put one of the little sculpture heads in the middle. I really just think it brings it together and gives it that artsy aesthetic look. Literally obsessed. Chef's kiss. Moving on, we have shelf two. We have Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. They're also like the prettiest book covers I own. Then we have the Harry Potter series. This is a series I have owned since probably like elementary school honestly and then right next to it i have the inheritance game series i just think these two shelves look so so good i'm so proud of myself with how they turned out this is my mystery thriller shelf i've read two books out of here i've read a good girl's guide to murder and i've also read verity but the rest of these i have not read yet the plan is to tackle this shelf later on in the year during like the fall time spooky season but this is my thriller shelf we have the silent patient the perfect marriage layla by Con Colleen Hoover, Verity by Colleen Hoover, We Were Liars, Luckiest Girl Alive, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, A Good Girl Bad Blood, Killjoy, As Good as Dead, Five Survive, One of Us is Lying. This is a special edition of Verity that I picked up. Right here I have the beige vintage mirror because I just, I don't know what it is about stuff that is vintage that just gives me like the spooky vibes. I thought putting the mirror there was just the perfect little thing to tie that shelf together. This is a cluster of a mess. Not really. I actually worked really hard on this shelf. So, <laughs> so down here are all my other fantasy books that I own but they don't have the rest of the series to go with them so I kind of just put them all together down here so right here we have blood marked this is actually book two in the series I have to get book one next to it we have chain of thorns as old as time shadow and bone dance of thieves caraval kingdom of the wicked I really really want to start this series the cruel prince red queen wicked a winter's promise the song of Achilles I'm gonna say it the song of Achilles was just not my fave paper princess I put the first three books of the Bridgerton series in here because they also just didn't have a spot. Then we have Daughter of a Pirate King and then A Thousand Heartbeats. And that is all for shelf one. Now we're gonna move on to shelf number two, which is another gorgeous, gorgeous shelf. This is my second favorite shelf I have. It's mainly because it holds all of my favorite romances. Up here, we have the Chestnut Spring series, which is my current obsession. Then we have the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. I actually just started reading these as well and I really really enjoyed that. Then next to it we also have the Dirty Air series also by Lauren Asher. I love how aesthetic her book spines are and I love how they're also numbered. Then we have the Selection series. I only have the first three in the series because I've heard very negative things about the last three. Then we go in to the Addicted series <laughs> and this got very messed up. As we'll see in a second how I have books on the bottom shelf that go with this series. They have different publishers though so the covers are different. So I kept these ones up here because they match 
swatch and they just look really good so i have ricochet addicted for now fuel the fire and long way down we are missing so many books in here i already know then we have the edens i just picked these books up a little bit ago a lot of people have been telling me to give them a try because they're very similar to the chestnut spring series we have indigo ridge juniper hill garnet flats and jasper Vale. this shelf is like my dark romance shelf it has all dark romances on it the first one here is the maid series by danielle laurie we have the sweetest oblivion the maddest obsession and the darkest temptation next we have the never after series by emily mcintyre you guys already know this is like one of my newest and favorite series from this year hooked scarred wretched and twisted them i did read wretched recently and it wasn't my favorite but hooked and scarred was just then we get in to my fave Anna Hong. We have the Twisted series. We have book one in the Kings of Sin series. But Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, Twisted Lies, and then we have King of Wrath. Next up I have My Dark Romeo. This is a new book that I just picked up as well. I haven't read it yet, but look how beautiful this cover is. And then right here we have the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. I'm obsessed with the spines, but I'm also obsessed with the covers and the aesthetics. This is like a dark romance mafia series that I've been loving recently. Right here we have have a lot of books by L. Kennedy. This is the entire Off Campus series as well as the Briar U series. And then right here we have all of my Coho books. I have quite the collection. It used to be my pride and joy, but I've just really grown out of Coho. We have It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us, Hopeless, Losing Hope, Confess, Reminders of Him, November 9th, Without Merit, Maybe Someday, All Your Perfects, Ugly Love, Regretting You, and Heartbone. And then right here in the middle, I put another one of those sculpture heads and and inside, I actually put some book highlighters because I thought, why not? I think it's perfect right there. And then we are down to the shelf, which is definitely the little mesh shelf over here. You know, I had the messy fantasy one on the first one. This is just a whole bunch of rom-coms and romance books that I just didn't know where to put. I also have some Christmas books here. We have The Hating Game, The Kiss Quotient, Pride and Premeditation is Seen on TV, Yours Truly, X's and O's, Maggie Moves On, The Godparent Trap, How Sweet It Is, Until Friday Night, Fallen to Me, Dark Succession, Pride and Prejudice, and The Great Gatsby. These are two really good classics. After, and then we have Addicted to You and Kiss the Sky. Book one in the Addicted series and book one in the Callaway Sister series, but like I said, they're by different publishers, so it's not my favorite covers. And then we get in to holiday books. These ones are Christmas ones. I have All I Want for Christmas, One Day in December, Window Shopping, My Night Before Christmas, and In a Holidays. And then I have two Halloween books. One is Go Hex Yourself and the other one is The X Hex. Those are books that I definitely wanna try and tackle this year because I actually didn't read any of these and I got them all last year during the holiday time and I didn't end up reading them. And then we have shelf number three. Up here, I put all of my summary type of books. So for the most part, they are all summer books, but then as you get more over here, they kind of branch out. We have some random ones in there. So we have One Italian Summer. We have The Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. Then we have some Emily Henry books. We have People We Meet on Vacation and Book Lovers. I didn't like People We Meet on Vacation, but I've heard really positive things about Book Lovers. So I'm gonna try and give her another chance this summer. We have It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. We also have My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Then we have Love and Other Words, The Unhoneymooners, and Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren's writing. I think she's an amazing author. Then we have a little Taylor Jenkins Reid section, one of my favorites. We have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, After I Do, One True Love, Malibu Rising, and Daisy Jones in the Six. Then we have Sally Rooney which I feel like her books give off summary vibes sometimes. Normal People, Conversation with Friends, Beautiful World, Where Are You? And then we have The Summer of Broken Rules, Love and Gelato, Every Summer After, The Spanish Love Deception, and In a Jam, which all give off very summary vibes. I cannot wait to read In a Jam because I hear really, really good things about that one. We're going on to shelf number two. You guys already see we have a little theme going on here. So right here I have two Allie Hazelwood books and two Lynn Painter books. I have Love on the Brain and The Love Hypothesis. Absolutely love The Love Hypothesis, one of my favorite books ever. Then we have The Do-Over and Better Than the Movies. Then right here, I did a little pink type of vibe. We have Say You Swear, My Year of Rest and Relaxation, Icebreaker, Tell Me Three Things, Last Chance 
books. Love to Love You, also by Allie Hazelwood. Kisses and Croissants, Funny You Should Ask, Love in a Time of Serial Killers, and Anne and the French Kiss. And then I put one of the little mini vases in the middle to kind of divide it up, and I think it looks really cute. We're getting on to shelf number three, which is gorgeous. I love this right here. This is a series I have not read, and I've had it for the longest time. It's called the Ocean View series. So we have the X-Files, Walking Red Flag, and Bittersweet. Then we have A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime, Binding 13, A Thousand Boy Kisses, You've Reached Sam, Girl in Pieces, Archer's Voice, Travis, More Than Words, Most of All of You, If He Had Been With Me, and Magnolia Park. I think the theme I was going for mostly was like sad books, like books that will probably make me tear up. So we have like a lot of sad books right here. And then we also have a little Mia Sheridan section. Then we have a little Lucy Score section. I actually haven't read anything by Lucy Score or Mariana Zapata, but I'm hoping to this year. Their books are a little bit bigger, so I think that's why I've shied away from reading them. But I'm hoping to read some this year. So first up we have Forever and Ever, Things We Hide from the Light, Things We Never Got Over, From Lukov with Love, and The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. And then right on top I have The Best Candle Ever. It's a Jane Austen candle I actually got for graduation from Chris's grandma, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I refuse to burn it because it's a Jane Austen candle. And then we get down to this shelf. It's a very itty bitty shelf as you can tell. Right here are all poetry books. So it's just strictly poetry books. And then here are my reading journals. I just thought I'd keep it simple on the shelf. And then I put the bigger round base down here to kind of make it as a divider. And then on the very bottom of this shelf are all of my hardcover books. They're mostly all of my book of the month and all of my aardvark book club books. So I just put them all down here. I think they look good together. As for the bookshelf in the bedroom. It's mine. It's Chris's bookshelf. I finally have enough books where it's kind of a bookshelf. <laughs> no, it looks really good. It's Chris's bookshelf, I swear. But as you can see, I put <laughs> I put stuff of mine on here. This is my favorite mirror. I use it every day. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a purple vintage looking mirror here. It's adorable. It's a heart mirror. I love it. We have my Polaroid camera and then we have a picture of Chris and I. How cute. So then we have another little picture of us and then we have this cool book that his mom actually got us for Christmas. It's like the date we got married. And then down here we have all of Chris's books. Oh, look at all the Star Wars books. And then I also just have some journals and then down there is another mirror, a candle, and like stuffed animals. That's his itty bitty baby bookshelf. It's coming along. He'll probably add more books as the year goes on and then I think I showed you guys a little bit last night but that's like my pile of books that I'm probably going to get rid of I'm going to do like a book on haul video for you guys this is my book cart it looks messy but I swear it's organized in a way where I know where everything is but that is all for my bookshelf tour and my bookshelf organization video if you guys enjoyed it and I hope you had fun let me know down below if you guys would like to see a book on haul video like I said I've never done one before but they seem really fun so I don't know let me know what you guys want to see from me. Also let me know if you saw any books in today's video that are your favorites. Comment down below. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.